Hedge Hedge Tube Pullers. Welcome back to Jack's Struggle for Survival. Um, I think I was crossing this land bridge, but let me get my bearings. I don't know that I've looked at my map since landing on this island. Uh, we've got objectives to the left, safe house to the north. Safe houses? Normally have a special bit of treasure. I do believe. Back! Back, fiends! You've no place here! Off with ye! I'd like to not have to screw with you. Reinforced helmet? What is this? What is this? Sheet metal? Huh! Okay. Okay, protection is medium. As opposed to low. Okay. So I know how to make a better helmet. If and when I find some sheet metal. Ooh, that makes me wonder. What will I find inside? Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna be the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, come on down, zombies! Have some fun with your old peepop! Oh, what is that? I just got the sheet metal, I think. I also got some pulleys. I can use pulleys on my bow to improve its effect. I kind of like the look of this little this little uh, rock cliff here. I could drop off of this. I could use this as a... Uh... Oh, can I get him? Oh, let me get the fatty before he gets over here. I could drop off of this if I absolutely need to. I gotta admit, these fatties are worrying me some. Oh! The speed of the boomerang is worrying me a little bit too. Oh! Gotta keep them from getting too close. I guess I don't ever... Oh god! I was looking down for a split second. I don't ever use Molotov cocktails. I gotta. I gotta use a Molotov cocktail. Is that gonna work? Oh, there's another fatty. I gotta kill this fatty before I go to the chainsaw. Oh, I'm so lucky that that hit. Wow, that was close. Uh, do not need a helmet. I did want the fabric, though. Oh, God, the fatties. They're sending so many fatties at me. This is troublesome. Because these dudes with armor are really good against the boomerang. I gotta throw it at them twice, and I gotta wait on a headshot both times. Yeah! Oh, the fatties. I don't even care about no stinking fatties. Blowing fatties up. Maybe they're blowing themselves up. And in that, maybe I'm just helping them. That's their ultimate end goal, right? Is to blow up and die? My tiredness is not nearly close enough. It has to be below 50% for me to rest. So I'll not be resting. I suppose I'll be moving right on with my journey. Do I not have inventory for that? Did that just set the special white plants right down? Okay, here, we can combine this. The pulleys go into the bow. I think that that is as, about as far as uh, bow improvement goes. Piercing arrows? No joke! Uh, I'm gonna have to try that out instead of this boomerang and see if it's worth it. Let's just drop that ammo. I don't quite need it. Incendiary ammo, that really makes me want to get back to using a handgun. Um, the metal plate, what can I do with this? I can take off the helmet, right? Yes. Now can I uncombine? Huh. I can just combine it with the helmet. Oh, look at that! Reinforced helmet with flint! Medium armor. Can I see the reinforcements on it? Yeah! Check that out. Um. I think so. I really wish you could zoom in. Yeah, I see little bits of metal in there. And there is a cooked special white plant on the ground there as well. Um, I don't really need to eat or drink anything. I think I think I'm good. Let's uh, let's proceed here. So there's a land bridge to the north as well, but there's a blockade behind it. I guess I don't have a choice then. Uh, let's try this bow out. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you can definitely tell a difference in the bow. Uh, that was not a one-shot kill on the creepies, but you know what? The bow or the uh, the boomerang does not one-shot kill him either. So, I'm not necessarily surprised there. The boomerang does exactly two-shot kill him without a head, though. So, hold on. That was a non-head. That was a non-head. Ah, it does less damage. I confirmed right there. So, watch this. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Oh. Okay, without zooming into the headshot, so long as both passes hit, 
Uh, only one pass hit. There were two noises, but it's because it hit two different guys. Okay, look, I'll prove it in a second, I swear. Um, oh, you're a fresh one. You're fresh! Come here! So the boomerang kills in two non-headshot hits. Yeah, see there. One, two. There and back. Killed him. Uh, the bow... Wow, I keep clicking when I mean to roll. The bow does not. So, definitive proof. Oh, matter of fact, I must have missed that first one. Definitive proof! Oh! Uh oh! Yeah, just take one of those, why don't you? I keep getting the chainsaw out, apparently I want to use it. Let's switch off to the axe, just so I'm not making noise and wasting gas. And let's keep using the boomerang. It does still, I, I feel like it fires a little bit slower, just in that it goes out and comes back, but that's kind of a strength in it. It almost gets two hits in one. It's two hits in one aiming session, so yeah, overall that actually makes me think that it's, it's faster. It's faster in a way. Overall, per hit, the aiming is faster. Uh, but you can't quite get hits out as quickly because it has to uh, return to you. But it does more damage, so we're keeping it. Nothing else matters. No with fans or butts. Except for those that the boomerang be slicing off and leaving on the ground. Are those the only butts around? They're gonna keep coming too, they don't care. I like the way he holds his left arm out in front of him. He's like aiming with it. He's got like a sight. Oh, uh-oh. The fatty knows. He's angry. Nobody else? The music is still pretty dynamic. Ah. We got some ugly little turds on the inside. Oh, and another jerry can. Huh. I wonder if I'll actually need that. I kind of feel like I won't. A bottle full of gasoline, but my inventory's full. Oof. I don't know that I want to... I don't know that I want to do something with this animal skin. Um, I could cut it up into leather straps, and then it would stack there, but... I actually... I can combine this right now, right? Let's just take this bottle of gasoline. Let's combine it with the chainsaw just to pour some in there. Then we can just drop the bottle, I guess. I've got plenty of bottles of water. And uh, let's try to use up this last Molotov cocktail in this fight, just for the sake of inventory space. Ooh, a harpoon grip! Um, I do have a grip on my chainsaw, and you know what? I see something else right there. That right there. Okay, look, we can leave the harpoon grip for the moment, but we're gonna put something epic together. Right as soon. Oh man, they both have armor. Uh, that's not cool. That requires headshot. Headshot love. Oh, uh, this is not gonna work very well at all. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out just because it stays on the ground for quite a while. I just need time. I just need time. Um, I really don't feel good about this corner. This corner feels really bad. All types of bad. There's a healing poultice. Maybe I still have a chance to survive this. The non-armored zombies, I can just wing the boomerang at. The guys with armor, I really have to aim at. Uh, that fire didn't stay there nearly as long as I would have liked. Oh, yeah. Oh, killing the fatties before they get anywhere near me. Oh, God. But everybody else, uh, this is about to be bad. I've got to get this boomerang through that fatty before he gets too close. Oh, he killed me. Yeah. The explosion was just too close, and I cornered myself. Son of a gun. Uh, last checkpoint. Okay, I'm not too far away. Let's get back over there. And you know what? Uh, I didn't use my chainsaw very much last time. Let's, uh, let's try that. I think that's mostly what kept me alive against the hordes of zombies. Uh, it works pretty good directly against the guys with armor. It kills them eventually. The main thing that it does is it locks them down. It doesn't let them attack you. The whole time they're up in your face. But I absolutely can't use it in any capacity against the fatties. Because all melee weapons are too dang close. Uh-oh. Getting a little close on some of these zombies here. Let's see if we can just wipe the field quick. I got fatties coming. I gotta, I gotta get a boomerang out to them. And I need to get a healing poultice down. 
I feel decent about using the boomerang here, and I want to get... Oh my god, that was way too close. That was dangerous. I need another healing poultice immediately. And there it is. Oh, uh, back to zombies. Back to hordes of zombies. Just enough time. I got to get it past. I got it. Yes, I got the fatties. I'm still alive here. I'm still alive. Another fatty cannot come right now, though. Oh my god! Oh, they got me again! Double time. I was close, though. I feel like I was really close that time. What? What just happened? Was I deep enough? Had all the enemies spawned? I bet they had all spawned, and so it saved a checkpoint that considered this complete. Huh. Well, uh... That makes me feel really cheap. <laughs> I feel like I could have beat that. I was so close. I so could have beat that. Oh, the long tube, though. I am going to instantly, uh, very happily, go off on a tangent here. I need to drop the skin and one of the thing. Um, let's drop this one piece of flint. I find flint fairly often anyway. Uh, any kind of water's edge. Take that long tube, and now... And now, okay, not that first. It's got to be the handle first. Yeah. And the compressor. And then we'll take that and combine it with the long, all and unfinished precision rifle. The hardware goes in and there it is. A handmade precision rifle. You know what? Uh, it's a very low rate of fire, very high damage. There was a scope. I think it's in survival guide, right? Right? Weapons? Uh... How do you make the scope? I don't remember how to make. Small capacity chainsaw, fishing rod, wooden axe. Surely the scope's in here, right? A handmade scope? Ah, oh, short tube and glasses. I used to have a short tube. I don't anymore, though. Hmm. Hmm. I know where glasses are. There's some glasses over on the shore. That makes me want to go get those just in case. Uh, they are like way over, see where my cursor is? They're like way over uh, on the far edge, right about there. Straight in, directly on the beach. Um, I think I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go snatch up those glasses. I may even decide to drop something else. Um, we'll leave that on the ground, and I guess I have enough room. And let me go ahead and eat a couple white plants while my health is a little low, just to make sure that I don't end up biting the bullet for no reason. Let's run back over to the densely repopulated beach area. Uh oh, of course you know. The head crabs are going to be coming back too. Um, the glasses, uh, did I move them? I think I did, didn't I? Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, they got to be right here somewhere. I don't think I kept them in my in inventory for very long. Look at how many of these creepers there are. Jesus. Get a life, guys. Holy hell. They are all over my tasty nuggets. There's gotta be glasses here. Oh god, I think I put them down in like a stupid spot. Maybe I won't be able to find the glasses. I could have swore they were like right here somewhere. Oh man. Oh. Boner inducing weapon denied. Uh, I don't have the short tube yet. Maybe I'll find glasses by the time I find the next short tube. Okay, fine. Uh, let's get way back over to that that new safe house I was at. I still don't quite need to sleep. Uh, but I'm getting kind of thirsty. I think one bottle of water goes 100%, so it'll take up from, like, nothing all the way up. Uh, some of these little fruits, though, give quite a bit of thirst. They give hunger, too. I'm not hungry, but... Um, I'm gonna go need a couple of them, I, I think. I don't know. I don't really need the thirst to be up. I don't think it starts to penalize you until, uh, it gets to the red zone. And then I think, uh... I don't know exactly what's required, but you can be denied the ability to sprint. This little sprint that you do. Um, and you can also increase the time that it takes to aim. Oh, look at that, a water hole. You know what? I even saw that on the map. I'm a buffoon. And not just water. Oh, God. Oh, it's a corrupt one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what the... F Wow, I dodged it. I dodged that thing like a champion. Hell's yeah. Bring on the big beast again. Bring on the super beast. I don't care. I feel like I can take on the world. I already killed one super beast. What's another one? Hell, send two at me at once. I'm fine with it. We'll knock them out. 
I still need some tires for my legs. Huh, mushrooms, I think. Okay, uh, apparently in this iteration I haven't yet cooked that meat. I know I cooked that meat before, but I've died a couple times and had to go back to checkpoints, and apparently I've never preserved a playthrough in which the meat was cooked. And there it is. Um, yes, this is what I was thinking. Oh, I did already have some cooked meat, though. I can slap some mushrooms on that bad boy. Oh, you know what? Now it's technically a different item from the first piece of meat. So, no, that didn't, and it doesn't add hunger to it. So why, what the mushroom? I don't, ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay, look, I just want to get rid of it. I know I've got inventory spaces to spare, but there's, ooh. Oh, did you hear that? Uh, that might have been like a swallowing sound, like the, the sound, I don't know if you guys could, I don't know if the mic picked that up, but I just made a gulp. That might have been a swallowing sound, but with that big chunk of meat, that sounded a little bit more like, uh, like it had to do with defecation. Like it came from the back end instead. What in the hell? Okay, wait a second. Oh, it's got a chat bubble above her name. It's an old lady, not a zombie. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Tube Dwellers. See you later.